what I'm doing at both the Hip Hop Dance Conservatory and in both um, Bronx Aid Services is I'm trying to bridge a gap between um, both communities of dance and the community of um, MSM and community of the LG LGBT community to show that there's really no separation. Um, I've been living with HIV for almost seven years. I was diagnosed 2007, so next year would be my seventh year. Uh, and now, as I'm getting older, I'm starting to see how valuable it is to talk about um, safe sex and to talk about my health, and not only just safe sex, but basically communication, because I think that's what is the major issue within our generation, is that we don't communicate, or we don't communicate effectively. So um, I'm starting to realize my, my responsibility to the youth and my responsibility while being here on Earth. I don't want to just exist and and just be here and you know in waste or in air but be able to contribute to society right now and be able to leave a mark um, and leave a mark so other people can leave a mark as well I would say start communicating with yourself communicate with yourself and people that are around you ask yourself some questions ask people questions as well um, if you don't find an answer if you can't answer it for yourself if you cannot find an answer for someone else, I would say st continue to research. If you don't have the resources to research, still ask questions about it and, 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 and you start to develop those questions in yourself that will help you find answers. So, it, you know, more consistent questions, critical questions, um, and be creative with it too because usually sometimes we think of it as being something that is so dreadful, but it's also beautiful because it's not like it's a, a curse or anything, but it could be something to help you and to help others. And remember that we are important and our existence right now, living in the now, is important for the um, future generations.